energy vibration lays in for the Capricorn Sun Moon and Rising sign I want to say thank you so much to you Cappies I love you guys I really love you guys and there are some special people who I have connected with last week I want to say thank you so much for your such a wonderful connection and um, this is so wonderful everything is going to work out this is just the time that Capricorns and the earth sign people are going through just a lot of transition in their lives but it's going to be good okay please remember to listen to your Sun Moon and Rising sign and subscribe welcome all you new Capricorns and to my old subscribers thank you so much thank you thank you thank you um thank you I can't say enough thank you okay um I'm trying to figure out if it was a Capricorn but someone did something very special that I'm going to do um, something um, for her and anyway this week is week of 16 so ladies and gentlemen it's the week of the 16th and the week begins from um, the 16th until the 22nd that's so weird people so um, um, we're going to look in your week it's going to be a week of water um, it's the week of you connecting with yourself it's going to be a very quiet week for some of you Capricorns you know you don't want to share your energy in this week and from Monday until Tuesday Monday until Thursday um, in this week it's going to be a fire fire energies and from Friday until Sunday it's going to be the earth energy so in the weekend it's going to be you're going to be feeling much better on Monday what do we have for you Capricorns on Monday you have a reverse energies on Monday so let's see oh no seven of one so this is good seven of ones do you see what's happening that mother is protecting her her cubs against this man and it could be an argument with a mother and a father but she's protecting her kids so the seven of ones I always tell people that the seven of ones is the energy of protecting okay as the energy of protection so on Monday you're going to be spiritually protected and mentally protected on Tuesday you have the ten of swords so this is not Tuesday you have the ten of swords okay but there's a protection but Tuesday you have the ten of swords so let's see what else is happening on Wednesday you have the fool so you're going on a new journey on Wednesday whatever is happening um, there is a new start that is coming for you on Wednesday on Thursday um, you have the energy of the devil on Thursday uh, on Friday what is happening for you guys on Friday you have the energy of the ten two of cups on Friday <laughs> okay Let's see what is happening on Saturday. We have the Seven of Cups. So on Friday, some of you are going to be connecting with someone of the past on Friday. Okay. Sunday, you have the King of Swords on Sunday. Okay. And that King of Swords is not a nice person that king of swords is not a nice person okay all right let's look at this week on monday you are being protected or you're protecting yourself on tuesday the, the we all know what is the energy of the ten of swords it can be mental thoughts for some people but for some people it can be lies people are lying against this person but on Wednesday there is going to be a new start on Wednesday on Thursday you have an energy with someone or a situation it's an energy with someone or a situation that carries a lower energy the ego of that person okay but on Friday you are going to be connecting with someone so love is in the hair on Friday for a lot of you guys and this on Friday um, the seven of ones is protecting it could be um, you're protected from someone who's going to come in to pretend as if 
you know, but they're lying. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. But they're lying. Ten of Swords is always lie. It's always gossiping and lying. So expect that in the middle of the week. So expect that in the beginning of the week. Okay. In the middle of the week, we have the energy of the Ten of Swords. So it has something to do with a family situation. Okay. And you're leaving the situation and going on a new start. Okay. So we're going to look, but the outcomes of your week is that good news. You're going to receive good news in this week. And I've never showed the rest of the sign, but for you Capricorns, because it was just sitting here at the six of ones, good news. This week is good news. Despite of what is happening here in this week, good news is going to come to you. Okay. So I'm, I'm leaving it there. So let's go deeper and look into this week because a family is a family situation is going to be happening or someone from the past okay don't trust this person whoever is going to come back if an ex lover because this is like an ex lover coming back um on thursday whoever comes in your life it's all about sex okay the energy of the devil it's all about sex is it like there's a little love but it's all about sex okay so let's see and um um this energy, this is someone who is an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. Be careful of this person, okay? It fell out, okay? And it fell out here, okay? So be careful. It's someone from, it's, it can be a cousin, a family, an immediate family, but be aware of her because it's, she's not very nice, okay? She, and especially, she's not very nice, okay? You have the, the Queen of Cups. So you need to be protected from the Queen of Cups, okay? Because the Queen of Cups is an Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpion. Be careful about this person because she's not really being honest, okay? Whoever the Queen of Cups is, she's not really being honest. Whoever this person is, she is really not being honest, okay? What does that mean? And there's, see, I told you, um, she has she's not being honest she's not saying she's not being honest about something be careful about, about in the in the beginning of the week you're protected against this person but she's not really being honest about something okay and this is for you men for you um capricorn men if you're having a relationship with a pisces a cancer or a scorpion be careful about this woman there's going to be a heartbreak um this is someone who you know and it could be also you women who is dealing with a pisces cancer or a scorpion over the age of 40 they're not being honest there's a lot of lies and heartbreak they're not being honest okay and the energy of this woman comes out that is even more let's see what else is happening um lies and a new start with someone who is if you guys are working with these Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion, this could be someone who is between the ages of 18 and 30. Okay, uh, lies, um, lies, but you, you, you're going to have a new start with this person, but there's a lot of lies. Okay, there's a lot of lies and situation that is, 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 is not, uh, yeah, and conflict. So there is conflicts with this new start because there's an energy of negative energies okay ego based people okay so let's see what's happening for you in the middle of the week um you have the energy of the eight of wands a lot of information will be coming at you so it's a it's as if it's a week where secrets will be coming and it's all about family information family secrets that are coming out okay information about the family information about the family people of the past people information about the family and whoever there is someone some of you are connected with someone who is a pisces cancer or a scorpion this is in love relationship be careful because this person is not saying this person is not being honest this person is keeping a lot of things they're not saying everything and if it's a 
uh, and this person is just not saying everything okay let's see what is happening here you're leaving a situation behind um, and this situation has to do with a king of sword okay so um, some of you who are dealing with an Aquarius Gemini or Libran um, you're leaving this situation behind okay let's look at what is happening with the two of cups and the six of cups money it's all about money some of you have a situation to deal with you are having either a cousin or a family member and it's all about money for her she's a greedy person this is this can be an Aries um, a Leo or a Sagittarian it's all about money for this person I want you to understand as a Capricorn because you're dealing with the Pisces the cancer and the scorpions Pisces cancer and scorpion don't listen to what they're saying there's a lot of things some of them are going to betray you there's going to be heartbroken with these persons with the um, lady who is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius be careful with her also it's all about money for them okay so you ladies over the age of 40 you're gonna be having situation family situation with your sisters okay or mother or sister-in-law or girlfriends who are the Pisces cancer and scorpion the Aries Leo and uh, Aries Leo and Sagittarius okay it's not healthy okay because it's a family situation and the eight a lot of information will be coming at you a lot of information will be coming at you whoever is dealing or if you were married to an Aquarius a Gemini or a an Aquarius Gemini or a Libra you're going to be ending whatever it is okay let's see what is coming out for this energy yes you're gonna be ending and leaving whatever is going on with this person it's as if you're saying you know goodbye I and so the reading is not that the reading is not that good but guess what good news is coming about a new start with your materialistic and this is what I'm saying you know you Capricorns this reading is not that of the most pleasant but whatever financial situation there was or whatever there was good news is coming about a new financial start for you so this is extremely good and whatever that was block blocking your financial situation is now in the reverse okay whatever that was blocking your financial situation is now in the reverse okay let me look at something because there is so much things happening here and I I need to um, I love asking questions about these things okay let me use um, this one to ask question blockage okay someone who is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius woman is trying to block some of you Capricorn women okay let's see what else is happening let's see who is this um, cups this Pisces cancer or scorpion who is she oh it's all about the money over it's all about the money there is going to be a message it's all about money whoever this person is it's all about money but it's going to be a message that is coming from afar and it's all about money whoever that lady is um, for some of you it's all about money whoever that person is it's all about money it's a message as it's coming from overseas and it's all about money and it's as if this lady whoever this lady is this Aries Leo or Sagittarius it's as if she knows about it and she is you know it's as if she wants a part of it okay let's see who is this Casanova what does it what he, who is this man and what his uh, um, who is this man is a psychic man okay and a new start okay so um, and some of you it could be your son 
if you have um, someone who is your son who is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion um, this person is very psychic okay this person is very psychic and I, I think he's so gifted that he manipulates he use um, a psychic gifts to manipulate situations and things he thinks he's very smart but you know if you if this is your son and you you know you will realize and see what his play what he's playing okay because he's using a psychic ability the moon money from creative endeavors okay so some of you are going to be receiving a lot of money from your creative endeavors so let's say if you have a business an online business it's going to just boom okay if you have an online business it's, it's, it's really going to just you know boom it's, it's, it's going to be good because whatever it is um, I, um, you're realizing um, or your child it could be your child that is having this business or it could be your child is saying why don't you do this business or your child or someone could be helping you but it is someone who is of a Pisces a cancer or a scorpion okay and this person is actually helping you in whatever form they helping you it's in a good form because what is happening here is um, it has something to do with money from some people creative endeavor which is this is what I've been saying to a lot of you people if you're not working um, go and find out what is your um, go and find out what you've always liked to do as a hobby and that sort of a thing and um, this is um, going to be um, very very um, successful for you okay um, chemistry big success okay so ladies a Casanova is coming in okay like ladies 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 you are going to be meeting a Pisces cancer or a Scorpio this person is very psychic but this person is going to help you to 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 make a success but some of you is going to be connecting with this person because this person you both have a chemical attraction to each other so some of you are going to have this fascinated chemical attraction to each other and some of you are this person is going to make you be successful okay this is going to happen um, Tuesday to Wednesday Wednesday uh, Tuesday to Wednesday okay um, that this person is going to be coming in your life okay some of you are going to be receiving a message from someone far away it could be that some of you could be um, receiving a message that somebody died and left you some money something like that um, um, but some of you could be receiving a message from overseas um, letting you know of money whether it's in business um, international business money that is coming from afar so um this 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 lady whoever this person is could be um letting you know about this um that is coming in because some of you are going to be receiving a message and this message that is coming in is a message from overseas and it could be um someone who um you know you had a relationship with overseas is going to be contacting you um, news yeah from overseas and it could be um, an offer in business for some of you so um, there is just so much hair going on because so let's look number three number three number three is for you guys in this week you're working with number three be careful on Tuesday there's a there's whoever on Tuesday be careful of these water people Pisces cancer scorpion um, the ten of swords whatever is happening this ten of swords could be in your thought but this ten of swords could be this these people not saying the truth 
okay um, some of you are going to be meeting someone that is going to be having such a strong chemical and and, and this is happening um, a lot oh my god it's 20 minutes okay laser beam it's gonna be a week that you guys are seeing everything laser beam a week that you guys are going to be seeing things just you know your the phone rings and you out oh, oh that's so and so and yes it is so and so uh, you're gonna be seeing things clearly in this week so it's good good news is coming in about you know your financial situation so congrats and I, I have to go guys this is 20 minutes love you bye namaste